Module 4, Graphs and Relations Question 1. Determine the equation of the line that passes through the points with coordinates 0, 4 and 2, 4. There are two ways of solving this question, a graphical method and an algebraic method. Graphically, we can see that the two points lie on a horizontal line with equation y equals 4. So the answer to this question is option b, y equals 4. The algebraic method requires the calculation of the gradient, which is 4 minus 4 divided by 2 minus 0, which is 0. The y-intercept equals 4, so the equation of the line y equals mx plus c becomes 0 times x plus 4, and again y equals 4. From the 2017 VC examination report, 69% of the students chose the correct option. Question 2. The graph below shows the volume of water in a water tank between 7 a.m and 5 p.m. on one day. The question is asking to choose the statement that is true. Option A, the volume of water in the tank decreases between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. This is a horizontal line, so this option is not true because there is no change in the volume of water. Option B, the volume of water in the tank increases at the greatest rate between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. There is an increase. The gradient of this line is 4 over 1. Let's check the gradient of this other line that seems to be steeper. So it's 4.5 over 1. So this option is not true because this is not the highest gradient. Option C. The volume of water in the tank is constant between 12 noon and 2 p.m. Now this is true because the line has a zero gradient. So the answer we are after is option C. From the 2017 VC examination report, 89% of the students chose the correct option. So this question was answered very well. Question 3. The point with coordinates 5 and 100 lies on the graph with equation y equals kx squared as shown below. The question is asking for the value of k. If we substitute the coordinates of this point into this equation, we calculate k as being equal to 4. So the answer we are after is option b, 4. From the 2017 VC examination report, 77% of the students chose the correct option. Question 4. The annual fee for membership of a car club in dollars based on years of membership of the club is shown in the step graph below. In the Martin family, Haley has been a member of the club for four years. John has been a member of the club for 20 years, while Sharon has been a member of the club for 25 years. The question is asking for the total fee for membership of the car club for the Martin family. Now, Haley, because she's been a member for four years, will pay $500 for the membership. John, being a member for 20 years, is going to pay $240 for the membership, while Sharon, being a member for 25 years, is going to pay $200 for the membership. So the total is $940. So the answer we are after is option E. From the 2017 VC examination report, 72% of the students chose the correct option. Question 5. A child care centre requires at least one teacher employed for every 15 children enrolled. 
If X is the number of teachers employed and Y is the number of children enrolled, which one of the following is the inequality that represents this situation? Well, if there is one teacher for every 15 children, then Y, which is the number of children, must be less than or equal to 15 times X. So the answer we are after is option D. From the 2017 VC examination report, 31% of the students chose the correct option, with 69% of the students choosing one of the incorrect options. Question 6. The ticket office at the circus sells adult tickets and child tickets. The Payne family bought two adult tickets and three child tickets for $69.50. Let A be the cost of an adult ticket and C be the cost of a child ticket. So we can write an equation 2A plus 3C equals 69.50. The Trent family bought one adult ticket and five child tickets for $78.50. We can write another equation, which is A plus 5C equals 78.50. The Saunders family bought three adult tickets and four child tickets. So the third equation is 3A plus 4C equals X because we don't know how much the Saunders family bought. This is what we have to calculate. So step one, calculate the values of A and C. Using available CAS technology, we are going to use TI Inspire, add calculator, and from the menu, choose algebra, solve system of equations, and then solve system of linear equations. Then OK. Enter the two equations and then enter again to solve. So the cost of an adult ticket is $16 and the cost of a child ticket is $12.50. Step 2. Calculate the total amount spent by the Saunders family. That is 3A plus 4C. 3 times 16 plus 4 times 12. 50, which gives us a total of $98. So the answer we are after is option C. From the 2017 VC examination report, 79% of the students chose the correct option. Question 7. Corner makes 200 meat pies to sell at his local market. The cost C of producing N pies can be determined from the rule below. C equals 0.8 N plus 250. Corner sells the first 150 pies at full price and sells the remaining 50 pies at half price. The question is asking for the full price of each pie in order to break even. So let P be the full sale price of a pie. At the break even point, revenue equals cost. In other words, 150P plus 50 times P over 2 equals 0 0.8 times 200 plus 250. We solve the equation for P, so we end up with the full price of a pie being 2.34, closest to 2.35. So the answer we are after is option C. From the 2017 VC examination report, 50% of the students chose the correct option, with 19% of the students choosing the incorrect option D, and 14% choosing the incorrect option B. Question 8. The shaded area in the graph below shows the feasible region for a linear programming problem. The objective function is given by z equals mx plus ny. The question is asking to choose 
the statement that is not true. We are going to use the sliding line technique here. The gradient of the objective function is equal to m over n. In option A, when m equals 4 and n equals 1, the gradient of z is 4. So we draw a line of gradient 4 and we move it across and the minimum value occurs at point A. So we cross out option A because this option is true. Let's check option B. When m equals 1 and n equals 6, the gradient of z is 1 over 6. This line has a gradient of 1 over 6. We move it down and we notice that the maximum value of z is at point B. So this option is true as well, so we can cross it out. Option C. When m equals 2 and n equals 5, the gradient of z is 2 over 5. Here is a line that has gradient 2 over 5. We move it up and the minimum value of z occurs at point C. So this option is true as well, so we can cross it out. When m equals 2 and n equals 6, the gradient of z is 2 over 6 or 1 over 3. Here is the line with gradient 1 over 3 and its maximum value occurs at point B. So this option is not true. So the answer to this question is option D. From the 2017 VC examination report, 44% of the students chose the correct option. With 56% of the students choosing one of the incorrect options. And this is the end of the solutions to the VCAR 2017 Further Mathematics Exam 1.